But as we get going into project-based learning and, and, and creating authentic solutions to authentic problems, one of the things is we have a pressure as a professional to feel like we got to keep moving, 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 right? That's the, the system of education has, has embedded this pressure that we think we've got to be everybody on the same page at the same time so we don't get behind, yada, yada, yada. And what I want you to make sure that you take time to pause and reflect on and make sure you integrate every single week maybe it's not every day, but it has to be every single week, is ensuring that we're capturing all voices. And some of that is going to be voices that are among their team, working and communicating that way. It might be a whole group share out, such as our circle of reflection or support. If you're using uh, Scrum, it could be their group work and their daily stand-ups. So we have this verbal thing where we can hear, either hear from kids individually to the whole group or to their small groups, the whole group speaking on behalf and collectively gathering their voices as an entire class. But we have to make sure that voices are allowed to be heard in different modalities. So taking time to do written reflections, uh, you know, private reasoning time, just to kind of sit and think with our ideas and, and get those captured and use post-its to stick on chart paper to make sure that we all get a chance to come up with our answers with no pressure there silently in our own head we know we bring that up to the chart paper and start to organize and there's a million different types of protocols and templates and things that you can use and to organize and sort and, and have small group and whole group conversation it's also vitally important when we think about capturing all voices it's not just the loudest students or the ones that always raise their hand and with that it doesn't always mean that we're going to call on people who maybe aren't comfortable speaking to the whole group so how do we have conversations sitting down eye level with our students and, and talking with each group and in, in, in conversation, not judgment or evaluation. Uh, maybe bringing them in and doing some reflected video recording. Uh, making sure they have a way to communicate with you, maybe not if they're not comfortable coming up to me as an educator, but they can still communicate to me privately, whether that's through email or leaving me a note or, or those kind of methods. Really be intentional to make sure that we have several ways to communicate thoughts and ideas both as individual, small group, whole group. We talked about written words. We talked about verbally speaking, but we also have to elaborate on allowing sketch noting or brainstorming or sketches or letting kids build prototype or tinker little models to express their learning. Lots of different ways we can do it. Again, this word you hear over and over again, we have to be intentional to make sure every week all these different types of modalities of expression can be utilized for our students. It helps build a safe culture of learning and we're gonna create authentic problems that, solutions to problems that have not been solved yet. We're really asking our students to be vulnerable, to, to have safety in these new ideas, to take them from our brains and out to the real world. It's all about the comfort. We can't be creative if we don't feel safe. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.